This is working quite nicely, the aluminium doesn't really gather the heat. It's only stuck on with blue tack and glue would probably do a much better, give you a smoother and better reflective surface. As it is, all the different angles by just pushing it and pressing it on reflects the sun in different angles which you don't collect. This is an tri old tripod. A beautiful central mount there. It spins freely so you could possibly drive this without too much trouble. With that amazing water engine we found on the web. So anyway, the mirrors have gone on and that's increased the heat. Plenty hot enough to get water going for you. I mean you can have a really good bath or shower from water. This would heat through a return tube up in the focal point now. And the whole thing covered with mirrors. Smaller than these for this size dish because again you're getting lots of distances at focal point. If the mirrors were half the size they would sit more completely and give a better round, better focus. So that would be a really good one to do. Once the mirrors come in we can get to it. Here look, with that return and flow tube coming across the focal point which is really at this size quite broad and hot. Not hot enough to ignite that paper but hot. And uh, that's just for those few mirrors. Imagine with it's covered completely and they're cut in half and sit well. And then on top of the caravan there we can put a, a reservoir of water with um, pla black plastic, you know, rubber like a uh, few holes connected to the, to the metal coming off there. Which has got the water running through it back and forwards. And this is all pumped around by, uh, like say, a windscreen wiper motor with uh, driven by a solar panel, a little tiny solar panel. So you got sun, you got hot water, you got heat, because you can use that for cooking as well if you focus it right. Right, here we are again. <laughs> this is our own freezer. We've been threatening to throw it away for a year. And uh, we kept hold of it. <laughs> and uh, it isn't that ugly for a piece of white. So I'm going to try and utilise it as a solar oven. Okay, what I've done is uh, got some old pair of speakers and put in the bottom, take up some space. Old carpet and paper wrapped around all that. And then on top of which I put a couple of tins from Christmas sweets. Filled those with paper and then surrounded the whole lot with paper all Christmas wrapping that we haven't thrown away. So that's sort of turned out nice. And so does Tessie look nice. These couple of layers of paper and cardboard just to level off. Heroes! I have noticed that. All you heroes out there, keep up the good work. And so now you see what I was talking about just now. It's all filled up, nicely insulated. Um, next step is to wait for this constant sun and try to get reflectors to go. So it's getting cloudy. So I'm doing this in between clouds for you. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is show you the death ray. Don't leave this unattended. Because... Um, it could seriously set fire to something. It does get hot. This death ray, as I've heard some guys on the web call it, um, is really good. It'll burn wood, it'll start your fire, it'll burn a hole in your hand. But uh, this size, full page magnifier, sort of six inches by nine inches, 225 mil by 150 millimeters, roughly, um, isn't size enough to boil this little kettle of water, which is only a small kettle. But it's light, it's compact, take it with you, have one in your backpack, you've got fire if you've got sun. It's just a few boxes <laughs> borrowed from the local shop. 
There's our friend in the background still doing his thing. Ain't burnt the paper, but it's blooming hot. And in there we've got some even more boxes, which I'm going to make the collector from for the solar oven. When the sun comes around here in the afternoon, this hose pipe absolutely boils. Now, in our previous house where we had uh, more time and bits and bobs to do things with than the ability, I had holes like this strung across the conservatory inside and black painted box with a radiator in it, old household radiator, connected to the mains. So, came in at the mains, go through the system, in through a window frame where I had a third tap above our kitchen sink. <laughs> and so when you turned on the tap in the kitchen, of course, the mains would push the cold water in from the main end and you would end up with a bowl full of hot water out of a pipe this length sufficient to do your Sunday washing up with. Grease and all. Cheers mate. I knew your black stuff of your swimming pool's even better. <laughs> right, you see this, you really shouldn't walk away and leave it uh, focused because this is just an old piece of wood on a old sewing machine. It's a treadle base which could be utilised, I'm thinking. You know, imagine that one, Mitchell. <laughs> nice easy one there, sit there and sew all day and generate a little bit of energy to get your little radio going. But, um, yeah, you can see, you know, that just left on its own, burnt that big hole in there, you know, after lint, and it's proceeding to burn yet another one. So, well, there you go.